very good morning to you all so for today's morning devotion let's look at a parable which jesus spoke in matthew's gospel chapter 13 verse 24 to 30 it is about the parable of the wheat and the tares so in this parable jesus told that there was a house owner and he had a field and he told his servants to sow the seeds of wheat during the night when they slept an enemy came and he sowed the seeds of the tares among the wheat and as days went by the servants realized that there were tares also growing along with the wheat and they asked the house owner we sowed only the seeds of the wheat then from where did the tares come from and then the owners told that some enemy has done this thing and the servants are asking then shall we pluck it out then the owner is telling no no don't pluck it out let them both grow together but during the time of harvest you first collect all the tares and you burn it in the fire and then you collect all the wheat and you bring it to my barn so there is a great spiritual lesson which we can learn from this parable so the householder is our lord jesus christ the wheat are the children of the kingdom of god those who accept jesus as their personal savior those who read the word of god and those who walk according to the word of god are the children of the kingdom of god the enemy is the devil and the tares are the children of the wicked one those who do not accept the gospel those who do not accept jesus christ those who do sin upon sin doing their own will and doing all the things which are against god they are the children of the wicked one now we can see that there is an important conversation going on between the servants and the house owner so the servants are asking shall we pluck the tares but the owner is telling no don't pluck it let them both grow together because by mistake when you're plucking the tares you may also pluck the wheat because they both look similar so don't do that like that the owner is telling so same like that even now in the world we can see so many people like uh, even in afghanistan like the taliban people the terrorists the is people and so many murderers the rapists and so many cruel people are there in this world we may think why these people are all alive but god is a gracious god he is a merciful god okay and he gives the time and he gives chances for everybody to repent he will not pluck them out immediately but a time and a chance and a season is given for everyone to repent god does not want anybody to perish but he wants everyone to repent and to be with him in heaven for eternity that is what god's desire is so that is why god is giving them time and chance for them to repent but we must always remember that we cannot keep on doing sin upon sin and we cannot keep on living the same way we must always remember that there is going to be a harvest there is going to be a end of the world or there is going to be a judgment day when on that day all the tares all those who do not accept christ all those who do not walk in his ways they will all be thrown into the lake of fire and from that they can never escape forever and ever they will be there eternally in that hell fire but those who are like the wheat those who accepted christ and those who walk in his ways will be rejoicing in the kingdom of the father the kingdom of heaven that is what we can see in revelation chapter 22 verses 11 and 12 he that is unjust let him be unjust still and he which is filthy let him be filthy still and he that is righteous let him be righteous still and he that is holy let him be holy still and behold i come quickly and my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be so according to our life on this earth our eternity is going to be so we must always remember that and we must always try to live a life that is pleasing god let's pray 
Dear Jesus, Lord, please help us to be like the wheat and not like the tares, Lord Jesus. Give us the grace to walk according to your ways and help us to live a life pleasing to you. I commit all ISV friends into your hands. You be with us and you bless us. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.